This is literally my place of peace. It's my comfort zone. Everybody has to have a comfort zone, right? But this is mine. Ooh. Guys, these geese are literally harmless. As you can see, there's a bunch of them all around me. They don't bother you. But they're definitely around. Look at how he sees me looking. He was staring at me like, what's she doing? Hey you guys and welcome to my point of view where we allow you to see and experience the great things about a city while learning about the culture from somebody who's actually from there. I'm your host Kyla Dominique. I'm usually the host of King of Prussia PA but today I just had to show you guys one of my favorite spots in Philly. It's called Kelly Drive and I cannot wait for you guys to check it out. You ready? Come on let's go. Drive is definitely a staple location to come to when you're in Philadelphia. Ever since I was a little girl, I remember driving, taking Kelly Drive to get downtown and passing the joggers and people on their bikes, just looking happy, free, running by the water. And I always wanted to experience that. And now look at me now, 28 years old, living back in Philly. And when my daughter's in school, I usually come out here every morning and I do my daily devotional, get a little jogging, and Catch the vibe, you know? Sometimes it's good to just start your day in nature. Regardless, if you start your day in nature, end your day in nature, have a break in nature, it's always nice to be by the water and up under some trees, you know? Kelly Drive is actually really big, okay? You could chill out here by the statues. There's a whole nother part we're gonna go to by the water. You can set up a little picnic or you can go down Boathouse Row. Let's go check out Boathouse Row real fast. guys this is my spot I take all my friends my families guys if they try to date me they're like you want to go down Kelly Drive go for a walk this is literally my place of peace it's my comfort zone everybody has to have a comfort zone right but this is mine so coming to Kelly Drive has actually been a tradition of mine for the past couple years ever since I moved back to Philly from Georgia I just had to incorporate it into my daily routine because literally coming down here I wish that you guys could feel the energy the energy is calm it's peaceful it's refreshing it's just beautiful a beautiful way to start your day end your day or get a break in between this is such a great area for photo shoots for video shoots all different type of shoots all different type of productions i actually for my birthday for my 28th birthday this year i actually had a little photo shoot down here got a little cute video of myself walking by the water it was so cute <laughs> so this would also be a great area for a versatile photo op on your trip to philly and some people won't even know you in philly you won't show the water and people are gonna be like where you at north carolina no, I'm in Philadelphia. You'll be like, I found a little treasure, you know. Found it on my point of view on the Fuami Network. 
<laughs> I just had to check it out. Even though all of this is still considered Kelly Drive, we are now coming into the territory of Boathouse Row. And that's going more towards downtown, as you can see. Just came from the statues and everything back that way. We're still along the Scooper River. Boathouse Row is the row of, they kind of look like cabins on the water that have lights that are similar to Christmas lights that stay lit 24 seven all throughout the year. When I was little driving on the highway, I used to always ask, why do they still got their Christmas lights up? <laughs> but it's just the way it is. And it's actually um, where a lot of different um, people who do like boating, where they keep their boats or people who just own boats. It's basically like a boat storage area and um, I think one of them have actually has a restaurant in there, but I'm about to walk up there. So you can kind of see the stretch between Kelly Drive, where we came back from back, way back there, and then Boathouse Road, which is still technically Kelly Drive, but it's all a little area. This is the end of Kelly Drive. We are now here at Boathouse Row, as you can see. All these houses store rowboats. They have um, different classes that you can take on how to row. At the end, all the way down, at the end of Boathouse Row, there's actually a restaurant. It's a far walk, and I still want to show you guys the other side of Kelly Drive. So if you guys want to check the restaurant out, just let me know, and I can do a Kelly Drive part two video where I go show you the restaurant usually they have live music playing it's actually a cool little area they have food and everything like that so just let me know if you would like me to do a part two and go check that out I actually filmed a short film I'm an actress and I actually filmed a short film um, over there and it's like a beautiful scenery beautiful aesthetic but yes just wanted to give you guys a glimpse of the end of Kelly Drive that has Bull House Row Okay, you guys, I got this long walk to get back on the other side of all these statues. So bear with me and let's go see the second half of Kelly Drive. Most parts of Kelly Drive actually has two different paths that you can take. Like, for example, you see the guy jogging over there. That's a path along the street. And then I took the path along the water. And I love that. I'm actually about to show you guys along the grassier side of Kelly Drive how there's two different paths over there as well every time you come to Kelly Drive it can literally be like you're taking a whole new trip <laughs> and having a whole new experience every time sometimes when I come out here I look at this underpass built into basically this huge rock almost a mountain almost I'm just like oh my gosh who even thought to blast the rock so people could get there you know crazy so remember I told you guys that almost every path on Kelly Drive has two paths that you can choose to go down there's the slit right here See? you can choose to go on the earth it's almost like gravel or you can choose to go on the path. As you can probably tell from all of the bikes and all the joggers, Kelly Drive is actually one of Philadelphia's most popular jogging and biking destinations. So if you're a biker or you're a jogger, this will be the perfect place to come and get your workout in when you come visit Philadelphia. Kelly Drive is also the perfect picnic area with all of its luscious green land 
families, friends, individuals come out here, lay a blanket out. Some people sit on the grass and just chill. This is actually where I take my daughter to celebrate when she has a good day in school. Sometimes even when she has a bad day in school and I can tell she needs to shake off some of that negative energy, we'll go grab a hoagie, come out here with our blanket and have a nice little picnic. And if you don't know what a hoagie is, make sure that you go back and watch on the Fuami Network, my previous video about the corner store in Philadelphia. You'll learn all about hoagies, okay? Gotta go check that out. <laughs> Not only is Kelly Drive a great area to jog, to bike, to walk, but it's also a good place to go fishing. Not only is this a place for humans to come and get a peace of mind, it's also a habitat for a family of geese and baby chicks that you catch from time to time wandering around. If you're scared of geese, this is not the place to come to go. It's like, no, I'm just kidding, you guys. These geese are literally harmless. As you can see, there's a bunch of them all around me. They don't bother you, but they're definitely around. Look at how he sees me looking. He was staring at me like, what you doing? parking along Kelly Drive there are quite a few maybe like three parking lots that you can try to park in but because it gets so packed they also have parking kind of like on the side of the road on the other side of the road as you can see here it's like a little curved I can't, I can't even say it's a road like a curved um, grassy area that people park along there and there's other little areas like that all up and down Kelly Drive okay so when you're looking for somewhere to park when you come down here this will be your first clue that you're almost there and you're about to turn right. This cave right here. You'll come from under this bridge to the cave and you're almost there. Then when you hit this green bridge right here, that's how you know you're about to park because you park right on the other side of that green bridge. And I'll show you as I get closer. But when you see this green bridge for the parking lot that I'm telling you guys about, you want to go past the bridge and as soon as you hit the green bridge you make that first right and you'll be at this parking lot over here that usually always has spaces by the way you guys so as you can probably tell it was super hot outside i was literally dripping sweat so instead of walking all the way down to where i wanted to end this video on those bleachers at the little pavilion i'm actually going to drive there just to save myself a little bit of um breath i don't know a little bit of the, the coolness left in my body i don't know but come on and that's where we're going see that piece of history right there let's find some parking Get over there. There's the parking lot. As you can see, they have porta bodies. So, if you were wondering whether or not they have bathrooms down here, they don't. But fear not, because there are porta potties. So, if you do have an emergency, you could always come and find a porta potty. Um, they're located at most parking areas as you can see it's at like the end of the parking area but also that restaurant i told you guys that i want to show you on part two of kelly drive at the end of boathouse road they have bathrooms down there as well like actual stalls so yeah that's where i usually go <laughs> formerly known as east river drive it was actually renamed kelly drive in the 1980s to honor john b kelly jr he was a Philadelphia city councilman, an Olympic rower, and the brother of Grace Kelly, who's actually an Academy Award winning actress. 
So this is all named after him. I had to come down here and show you guys the statue. This is actually a statue of John B. Kelly. As you can see on here, it says Olympic champion singles 1920s, doubles 1924, and doubles 1920. This was actually where the Olympic Games was held at. As you can see, they have a bunch of outside bleachers and also bleachers that are covered. I'm going to go under there and show you. If you look over there, you'll see the pillars are numbered or lettered. And from what I heard, each team would have to go under their respective pillar. That's how the game goes. I know nothing about rowing, you guys. But this is definitely, if you're a big rower, this is definitely a nice place to come to. This is where I came to to have my birthday photo shoot. And then people started coming, and then groups of families started coming. And then we looked around, and it was everybody cheering. We were like, oh my gosh. What did we walk into? This is another place I sometimes come to to meditate or after my run. Like I said, this is the end of my route, and then I gotta go all the way back. So sometimes I sit here, meditate, take a breather, get my bearings, and then get back on the road. Not get back on the road, but get back on the trail, okay? So they have a monument for oarsmen who served during World War I. It says, this grandstand is dedicated to the memory of oarsmen who made the supreme sacrifice for the one here are all their names. I think that is so cool. Do you guys see how beautiful it is behind me? You have to come out here and see it in person for yourself. Whew! I finally made it back home, y'all, and out of that sun. Thank you so much for coming with me to Kelly Drive today here on My Point of View. So, what would you guys like to see next? Do you want to see a part two of Kelly Drive, a part three of the King of Pressure Mall? Just let me know. Leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the Fuwami Network, where we bring you the best original local content where you work, live, and play. Also be sure to check out all of the influencers in different cities around the country so that way you can catch a vibe in their city. Make sure you guys tune in with me, Kyla Dominique, here on the Fuwami Network next time. Thank you. Bye.